Hello, so on my Tumblr somebody asked me to make a sweater collection video and I figured since I have time today I'll just do that. Um, I won't make it about all of my sweaters because I counted and I have like 30 something, um, probably more. I probably only counted like half of them. But um, yeah, so I'm only going to talk about the sweaters that I liked most or I wear the most. Um, and most of them are from thrift stores or like they were gifted to me so um, I won't really say where they're from because it's kind of pointless I can say the brand um, yeah so most of them were about five dollars and under <laughs> um, yeah so let's get started um, the first one I got I think it was last week and it's just this gray H&M sweater it's like half sleeves and it's pretty long. I like long sweaters because you can wear them with more things. Um, it has just like shiny kind of stud things on it. Um, it's really a cool color. It's not, it's kind of like slate gray, but it also has a little green in it. So you can wear it with a lot of things. I haven't worn it yet, but I like it. This sweater I wear a lot. Um, it's Hawking's McGill, McGill, I guess. It's just a gray cardigan with brown buttons, but it's pretty thick and it has like it has a good collar and good sleeves and um, it hasn't gotten any holes in it yet, which is great. A lot of my sweaters do get holes, <laughs> but I love this to wear over like any top. I usually, even in the winter, I just wear like maybe a short sleeves top and then a cardigan and like a jacket because I like layering things <laughs> and I'm gonna take the time to fold them up because I just cleaned my room yesterday and I do not want it to get that dirty again. This one I love, this cardigan. It is by AB Studio and I love it. I love it so much because it doesn't close, it just kind of like hangs but you can also close it a little bit, I don't know, that looks weird, you can kind of close the top part, and it's a really interesting knit, it's got like waves of, of color, it's like brown and gray and white all together, so you can wear it with a lot of things, um, this one I also just got last week, but I'm in love with it, I've worn it like three times, <laughs> okay, next I have just your standard Marona crew neck gray cardigan and I like wearing this to work because um, you can just go over my work outfit and you know my boss won't say anything because it's not like any flashy colors it's very muted and it's kind of a thin cardigan so it's it's good to wear in like the spring and the early fall anyway um next I have this next one I got at Goodwill. I get most of my stuff from thrift stores and I'm not ashamed to say that. I mean, you can find some good stuff. This is by 21. It's a red and blue striped cardigan. It's very American. Um, I like it just because I have a lot of kind of red and navy blue things that I don't really find the time to wear a lot. Because I'm like, I don't have anything that goes with this, so this is a perfect sweater. Um, next, I really like this sweater. I've worn it in a lot of, if you, if you follow my tumble, you probably see me wear it in a lot of pictures. This is I Heart Ronson, and it's pretty big, actually. Like, I think it's supposed to be a guy sweater. I don't know. It's pretty large. It goes down, like, almost to my knee. And it's a letterman sweater. I like that. It has, like, these great big buttons, and there's only four of them, and then it's pretty loose. I like the loose factor of it. Um, you can wear it with lots of things. And it's warm. It's warm in the winter, so I like that. Um, what else? Okay, this next one. Hold on. It's falling over. This next one I bought from Sierra on Tumblr. It's exhilaration, but it's just like a lace cardigan. Oh, it's sticking together. I like it a lot. Um, 
I bought it kind of in like late September from her so I haven't had much of a chance to wear it. I've worn it like a couple times but now that it's getting colder I mean like a, a lace cardigan isn't really the best option but it's really pretty and it did get here super fast. I do recommend like her shipping was super fast. Um, I think I ordered it on like a Monday. I got it on a Thursday. Pretty sure that's what happened. Okay, this next one is Gap. And it is a kind of tan cardigan. And when I bought this, I liked that the sleeves were three quarter length. And then at the bottom, it has this like little this frilly thing. I don't know if you can see. It's like a little a frill. I thought that was really cute. Um, this is another one that I usually only wear in the fall or spring because it's kind of light and it, it isn't full sleeves. Um, this is my Christmas sweater, pretty much. Um, it's from Old Navy. Well, the brand is Old Navy. It is white and it has stripes. It's like stripes of different kinds of white, I guess. Some of them have like silver. The only problem with this is that it does have like little, has little holes. So you do have to be careful what you wear under it, and especially since it's white. Um, last year in the winter, I wore a lot, and when you go outside in the wind, you definitely do feel that the holes are there. But and it's really cute. It's very festive since it's sparkly. I don't know. I want something to wear on the holidays for if I see my family. You know, I look presentable. Um, this one is, I don't really know why I bought this. I bought this last year. It's Massimo Supply Company. It's like, it's, it's a craft sweater and it has short sleeves. So, I don't really wear it a lot. I think I've worn it like once or twice since I bought it. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. And I actually bought this the end of two years ago. And, I don't know, that was when I first started, like, buying a bunch of sweaters. So I was just like, oh, a sweater, I'll buy it. Um, this one my sister actually gave to me yesterday, <laughs> which she got from, this is, this is kind of cool, oh, that's nice. Um, she got it from a free table at her college. They just have a table where they put stuff. And she got it, but then, it doesn't go with her hair. So, she gave it to me. I, I really like it, it's very soft. I'm looking forward to wearing it. Um, her hair is maroon, so it doesn't really work. But, I always like another cardigan. Um, this one, I don't really know how I feel about this. I bought this also two years ago. It's an interesting, like, texture. It has ruching and then stripes. Stripes, like, on the arms and stuff. But then it's like, it's gray, but it's a green gray. So I can't wear it with just anything. And then, like, the ruching and stuff, it kind of fits weird, so... I don't know, I gave it to my sister, and she gave it back, so... I'll probably wear it a couple times, but it's not my favorite. Next, I have this... I got I actually got this at, um... Crap, what's the name of this store? TJ Maxx. I got this at TJ Maxx. It doesn't say a brand, it just has this kind of square thing, so who knows. I really love this sweater. I love it so much. It is adorable. I love the lace and the stripes and I just love this sweater. I wear it all the time. I love it. And I like about this sweater that I can wear it um, just with jeans or like with a dress or anything. Um, and that it looks good whether I have hair or not because of some of my sweaters like they look a lot better if you have longer hair, like I used to, um, but I don't have longer hair anymore, so. Um, let's see. This is Forever 21, I'm pretty sure. And it's just a leopard print cardigan crew neck. It's cute. I used to wear it a lot more, but I don't know, I haven't been into leopard print as much. It's really cute though, it's comfy. It's not too tight. Um, this next
one I usually only wear at home for pajamas just because the sleeves are so awkward. It is, this is Kerbrew. I'm pretty sure I got this at Costco. It's um, like the body part fits well, but then the sleeves, you know, as you can see, it doesn't really look like it, but they go kind of out and then back in, so it looks like a floppy sleeve, and I hate that. I hate how that looks, and it just feels awkward. So I usually only wear it like for pajamas when I'm cold. But I would wear it out if it didn't have those sleeves. This is going to be a really long video. Okay, we're about halfway through. Um, this one I also got, I think, two weeks ago. It says Old Navy. It's like this purple, purple sweater, and it has bluish purple sequins on it. I really like it. Um, I know I love purple, so I was like, this is great. It's very big, so you can wear it with anything. I don't know, I like big sweaters, because I think short sweaters, you can only wear them with certain kinds of things, and then big sweaters, I mean, there's no end to the possibilities. I sound really cheesy right now. I mean, this one my sister also gave to me, um, it's Liz Claymon. I haven't worn it out of my house yet, but I really like how it looks. It looks really cute with my short hair. Um, it has like little buttons and then like different, I like the different kinds of stripes. I like stripes a lot. I don't know if I've showed a lot of striped things. I do have a lot of striped things, but I like them. I'm not afraid of horizontal stripes. Okay, this next one. Oh my gosh, I love this sweater. It is so cute. This is also Old Navy. It is so warm. It is like full of heat from the sun, I swear. Oh my god. And it has like this cute pattern that's very wintry. I like this pattern a lot. Um, this is also, it's, it's long. It's got like a nice waistband. So you can wear it with lots of things. Oh my gosh, I, I just love this sweater. I love when it is winter because then I can wear this sweater. <laughs> and um, the only thing about it, I would say, is that as I wash it, it just keeps getting itchier. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. Next, this is also Old Navy. I only wear this, I don't know, not a lot. But I used to wear it a lot more because I didn't have any other black sweaters. This is like, comes onto my waist, and it's three quarter sleeves, and it has like sequins. It's from Old Navy. Um, this is actually like a kid size, so I don't know why I still have it. I don't, I couldn't even fit this size when I was a kid, so I think it was probably from one of my sisters, but, um, yeah, it fits me now. It's just a little awkward because, I don't know, I feel like I'm wearing a kid sweater, so I don't wear it that much. This next sweater, I love. I love this sweater so much, I cannot describe. I wear it a lot. It's like a dark gray cardigan v-neck. And in the back it has, I don't know if you can see, it's like a shimmery, it's very silky fabric and this is black, black fabric. So it's, it's a really nice like quality cardigan. It says it's by Hologen and I just, I, I love how it fits. I love how it looks. It's very comfortable and it can be warm and, and like, as I've worn it in the fall, it's been, like, pretty warm. But I also wore it in the summer, too. Like, when I first bought it was in July or June. And I wore it then, and it was not too hot. Like, it was a light cardigan, so it's, it's my favorite. One of my favorites. Um, this next one is vintage. It's really old. It doesn't even have a tag. Um, I'm pretty sure it was my mom's like this kind of poop green color <laughs> but it's really interesting like it, it has she might have actually knitted it herself I don't know I haven't heard the full story of this cardigan but it does have a lot of like repairs that need to be made like the sleeve is messed up and both sleeves are messed up actually and it's a little itchy but you know I mean it's warm okay continuing on um I had to stop for a second because it's almost time for me to leave, so I'm going to rush through the last four sweaters. Um, this, it's not really a sweater, it's kind of just a jacket thing. My sister also gave this to me. Um, it has like these cool little pink
panels in the back that are of different stripes, so it kind of flutters when you walk. It's, this is by, crap, where's the tag? Dareb Hart. Or maybe it's Dear Hart. It's kind of hard to read. I hope it's focusing. Um, yeah, so I've only won this once because, I, again, I got it kind of late in the fall and it was cold, so. Um, but I really liked how it looked. Um, this next sweater I have not worn since I got my hair cut because it looks pretty awkward. It's just like, it's, kind of, it's by Donna, Don Kenny. And it's kind of like patchwork. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a stain, so it's good that I haven't worn it. Um, it's like patchwork knitted. There's different kind of textures. And it was just like a really good, like, kind of baggy white sweater. But the neck, I never noticed. It looks like, it looks really awkward on my neck. So when my hair's short, like, you can totally see that. I don't know. It doesn't, I don't like it with my short hair. Okay, then those are all the sweaters that I have and wore the most. Um, yesterday, I actually went out and bought two more sweaters <laughs> that I haven't worn yet, but... I love them. So, those are these. They're both from Salvation Army. This one says that it's down east. It has a really cute bow in the tag. And it has like little flowers. Flower appliques. I don't know, I think it's really cute. I don't have that many cutesy sweaters. So, I was just like, okay. And then it was like a dollar and fifty cents. So, I was like, fuck it. Even if it doesn't look good. I didn't even try that one on. This one I tried on, and I think it is gorgeous. I love the big sweaters, so. It's just a big black sweater, and it is so warm and comfy, and oh my god. It's just by Casual Corner. I love it. I love it a lot. So, <clears throat> those were all of my sweaters so far that I like the most, and yeah, I... I have an issue with sweaters. I'm like a compulsive sweater buyer. Like, I'll go to a store and I'll see a million things that I like, but I won't buy it because it'll be too expensive. But if I see a sweater I like, I'll be like, I need to have this. Um, I guess it's because I layer things a lot. So, yeah, that was my sweater collection. Um, yeah, I'm, I might post some pictures of me wearing some of these. I didn't feel like trying them on for the video because it would be way too long. So, yeah. Um, see you guys later.